Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC to do everything DIY and today we got a service call for a multi-stack modular chiller. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. So if we look inside here, it's just a bunch of individual circuits, a bunch of compressors and they're all individuals. So, this is circuit number one, and we have our gauges hooked up, and we have zero pounds of pressure, and that's telling me that we have a refrigerant leak. Considering we have zero pounds of pressure, this must be a large leak and should be able to find. So I got my yellow hose hooked up to my nitrogen tank. I'm gonna open this, pressure is up, and I'm gonna charge from the high side, and I'm gonna just crack it slow so we don't break the needle on our gauge. So let's bring the pressure up. Let's charge it up with nitrogen and search for this leak. All right, I can actually hear the leak. Uh, it's right somewhere right here. You can feel a huge air just pushing out. Let's, let's open this up and find it. All right, the leak is right here on this pigtail huge leak you can hear it you can feel it so we're gonna dump the nitrogen and patch this up all right so we released all our nitrogen we're back at zero pounds and our leak is right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the swivel T's and disconnect this uh, gauge so I can patch this up and then put everything back so we make sure we don't melt anything and just get anything out of line so let's disconnect all this stuff and patch this up. All right, so we got everything out of the way. I'm just gonna put this into its best position and I'm gonna just patch up this crack. And that should do it. Put everything back. Check for leaks, run it through a vacuum. That whole deal. I'm gonna take a piece of sandpaper and sand down the area before I braze. Here's my MC tank using acetylene gas. I love how compact and small it is for these small jobs. I don't gotta carry on a heavy tank. So here's a brazing rod. And we're just gonna patch this up right here. Everything is now patched up, looks all right. We're gonna build everything back together, tighten everything down and check for leaks again. I always like to use nylon red gasket and thread sealant around these fittings here to prevent any leaks. And what I love about this is that it's clear and it will not contaminate your system. All right, so we're gonna charge it up with nitrogen again and check for leaks. All right, so we got pressure. It's gonna wet all of this and everything looks good. No leaks according to the bubbles. So we're gonna release the nitrogen and put this thing in a vacuum. Hopefully that was the only leak. All right. I got the system hooked up to a vacuum and I also got my micron gauge hooked up. So let's give this thing a nice vacuum. It's coming down pretty fast. And once we can prove that there's no more leaks, we can add the refrigerant to the circuit and start this bad boy up. All right, so we reached a good vacuum and it's been holding. And if we look on our nameplate, we're using R407C and we use 12 pounds. So I'm gonna zero out my scale. I have my tank on a scale and I'm going to charge 12 pounds of refrigerant into this system. All right, our ounces are going up and refrigerant is entering our system. Once we reach 12 pounds, we're gonna stop 
might not be able to reach we might need to start the compressor to reach the full 12 pounds but we'll see and then get this thing started all right we have 12 pounds zero ounces on the dot and this is a perfect charge all right we got no leaks got the system running and that's about it and that's how we repair the leak if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time